Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're doing our alcohol round of 16, guys. Recap. So we're going to start with the first game we got here is Cape Verde 1, Martin and Ultimate 8744. So for this game, guys, uh, Cape Verde, man, this is a good team. This is a solid team, guys. And I really like the make of this Cape Verde team. As for Mauritania, it's another cruel defeat. It's another cruel defeat because, man, they, they play good, man. They play good. They had some chances. Um, Obviously, the free kick was probably their best one. The 59th minute was a great chance. And I think they had a great chance from the – yeah, their 59th was a really close chance. Really, really close. Um, Trying to see any other chances they had in this game. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think they had a free kick the 30th minute, if I remember correctly. They almost scored from there. But you know what I realized with this Martinia team is that they're a good defensive team. Their attack is abysmal. I'm sorry, their attack is not good enough. And I just think for Martinia, this was a bridge too far for them. As for Cape Verde, they played really well. They created a lot of chances. I remember Niese made some good saves in the first half in particular. And I just think that for Martinia, man, they just couldn't get the finishing. They just couldn't get the finishing on the day. And um, yeah, for um, Martini and Cape Verde, man, they per persevered. They didn't really have a good first half, though, to be fair. But the second half, they significantly improved. And you can see how much significantly improved. They got 14 shots, 4 on target. And then, obviously, we'll talk about the goal. We'll talk about the goal. Horrendous mistake from the center back. I believe the center back gives the ball away to the striker. And the striker tries to go around Gilson Tavares. He wins a penalty because goalkeeper takes him down. And um, Ryan Mendez... Um, um, scores a penalty to make it 1-0 to Cape Verde. Huge, huge goal. He's one of their best players. We know how important he is. And I think for Cape Verde, man, they, they get the job done. They get the job done 1-0. Once again, another painful defeat for Martini. And they just can't close off games. I think that's another thing we learned with this Martini team is like they have a habit of conceding late goals. Like like I said, we saw against Burkina Faso concede a late goal there. Um, and yeah, they just concede late goals, man. They just can't close out games. And um, so if we have Martinia men, shout out to them though. They made it to the knockout stages for the first first time ever in their history. So I think they can feel proud of this effort. But I think for Martinia men, as I said, they just have to work on their attack. They gotta get some better finishers. And um as for Cape Verde men, this is the the second time they ever reached the quarterfinals of history. I think the last time we did it was 2013. So for Martinia men, they did well for this group and you know made it to the knockout stage for the first time ever in history. So shout out to them and Cape Verde men. And like I said, for Cape Verde, they'll be playing the winner of, I believe it's either Morocco or South Africa. We're going to find out tomorrow who's going to face them. Moving on next to um, Senegal 1, Ivory Coast 1. Guys, I said Ivory Coast win. I put my name on the line. And it was a very unpopular pick because a lot of people were saying, oh, Senegal is going to win this. They were the, one of the best teams in the group stage. You can make an argument Ivory Coast were one of the worst teams to advance from the group. But this is the beauty of Afghan. It, does, it doesn't matter which team is the best or which team is the worst. Anything can happen. We've seen so crazy upsets. We just saw um, yesterday DR Congo knock out Egypt. Uh, we also saw Guinea beat Equatorial Guinea. So there's a, the upsets can happen. And that's what I love about this tournament is that it, it doesn't go as predicted. And I just knew that Senegal weren't going to win this. I knew Senegal weren't going to win this. They reached two finals in a row. I think Senegal can't do three. I just knew they couldn't do three. A lot of the players are kind of past their primes. And but they played well. Senegal played well today. And you know it's crazy. Senegal is going out the tournament having not even lost a game, whereas Ivory Coast have only won one game and is still in the quarterfinals. You know that that that, that might seem crazy to say. But anyways, talking about this game here, I just feel like for me, Senegal for me, they 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 control the game. That first goal from Diallo, man, great, great pass and from Mane, great header there from Diallo to make a one nil. And then you're thinking to yourself, okay, Senegal surely is gonna wrap this game and they're gonna finish this game off in the first half, right? Well, Actually, no, it was actually a regular play goal. It wasn't a header. Great, great pass there. But as you can see right here, guys, Ivory Coast started to grow into the game. It started to create chances. They started to control the game. Senegal went a very defensive after taking the lead. And you can see this is where I think it hurts Senegal. Because for me, they should have closed this game on the first half. Because Ivory Coast didn't have their best players starting. Remember, Haller didn't start this game. Pepe didn't start. Kessie didn't start. Adingra didn't start. Kwame didn't start. All the big guys didn't start. And you can see that the new interim coach, Emerson Fai, actually made some big changes. He's dropped Boldy from this game. He started, or he started, he dropped, C, C, I think it's a, who's this guy again? Singo. He dropped Singo, started Oyer, and he also dropped Kessie. He started Seri instead. So you can see he already made radical changes to the 11. It wasn't the, from the European coach. And then the second half, man, Ivory Coast took the game. Ivory Coast actually started to control the game very well. They just couldn't create chances. That was the problem for Ivory Coast is that they weren't able to create many clear cut opportunities until their big guys came on. And obviously, that um miss, man. That miss 
from uh, what is it called? Monty in the 74th minute. It was a terrible miss there. The 78th minute, man. How did Monty not score this, man? A great, great opportunity for him to be in there. And I don't know how he didn't score. Now, then we'll talk about the penalty. Let's talk about the penalty, guys. That penalty for me was 100% a penalty. Mane was taken down. Uh, sorry, um, Fofana. Not Fofana. Edward Mendy. Mendy takes down Pepe inside the box that just came on. And it was a clear, obvious penalty. Clear, very obvious penalty. Up step, Frank Kessie, and he scores a penalty. And yeah, man, for uh, Fofana, made, he, he made some good saves in the second half, man. He made some good saves in the second half. I remember, I think he denied Mane, I believe, in the second half. And he denied Mane in ex in, again in extra time. And extra time, you can see right here, guys, that it was very defensive. Yeah, Mane attempted the 105th second minute. Ivory Coast didn't really have any great opportunities at the extra time, man. They were pretty, they they were holding on at the second half extra time, man. Uh, Ivory Coast only with one attempt. So, and then it goes to penalties. And you got to get credit to uh, Ivory Coast, man. Their penalty takers were really good on the day. Really, really good on the day. And obviously, Nick gets, uh, he hits the post. He hits the post. It very agonizingly hits the post and sends Senegal out. And so Senegal, the defending AFCON champions are eliminated in the round of 68. Once again, guys, we haven't seen a defending AFCON champions in the last six editions reach the quarterfinals. That is still, that still holds true to this day. And Ivory Coast, man, they're finally in the quarterfinals of the AFCON since I believe the last time was 2015. So you guys can correct me from the comments below if I'm wrong. They have gone out of the round of 16 the last couple of editions. They went out to Egypt the last edition. Um, and then I believe they went out to what it, I forgot the 2019. Who they go out to? It might have been Ghana. I think they went out to Ghana in 2019. But yeah, I mean, for Ivory Coast, man, shout out to Ivory Coast. They're in the quarterfinals and they'll be playing the winner of Mali Burkina Faso. And Ivory Coast, man, they played well. But I think they one thing I will take away from Ivory Coast is that they got to do better attacking wise. Their attack is still not good enough. And I think they need to do that. For Senegal, man, I think the big issue for them was going super defensive. I think they went super defensive after taking the lead, which is a big mistake. And you can see Senegal changed their entire 11. They, because I believe before this game, they were playing the 4-2-3-1, and they played 3-4-2-1. Uh, Let me actually just correct myself real quick before I um, do that, because I believe Senegal changed their entire 11, which is a bit odd. Uh, so let me just check this real quick, and then we're going to head off afterwards once I check. So you can see Senegal. Yeah, and their win against Guinea, they played... Um, Let's see, they went against Guinea. Yeah, yeah, they played a 4-1-4-1. So that was a bit of a radical change. And I think that was something that Ali UC said. Maybe he was doing it tactically to see what Ivory Coast would do. Um, but, you know, like I said, it didn't really work on the day. So shout out to Ivory Coast, man. They make it through. And for Cape Verde, man, they make it through. So this AFCON, man, once again, is unpredictable. And any team can win this. Any team can win this. So hope you guys did enjoy this recap. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe, of course. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.